Okay, Casey's getting warmed up back inside. I am gonna cut out that front door and try and get it taped and rolled. And then I'm gonna go empty the trailer over there of all the firewood. And that should keep me busy for a couple hours. Okay, so we got a, what's this thing called? It's called a cutout tool. A lot of times these are called drywall cutout tools. So we're gonna try this and the compact router. Uh, like I said, you can use a reciprocating saw or a sawzall for this task. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I don't like the way that it leaves this edge. So I am going to try out these tools and see if they do any better. Uh, we were going to need these for drywall cabinets anyway so if anything if they don't work then maybe I just bought them early but well I gotta say I think this is probably the best tool for the job um, super clean edge smooth edge like that's really nice so I, I learned to use a router on Perkins Builder Brothers. Not that they use a router. They're like, man, why haven't we picked up a router yet? Because I really hate the way the sawzall cuts the zip. I'm like, well, I don't want to run into that. So I learned from their mistakes. And I know the awesome framers use a router. And I'm pretty sure it's literally like on a pole. And they just like push the router around on a window while it's still on the ground before they lift up the wall because they sheet it, sheet the window or sheet the wall before they lift it up when you have uh, heavy equipment or more people that's a possibility So I went and got another load of firewood. This is all the firewood that just about destroyed my back in the spring. And I was able to get it down the hill and in the trailer, so I must be doing better. Most of this wood is pretty much dried, seasoned, ready to burn. I just gotta split it. Uh, there is like one tree in here that was green. It was just hanging over the driveway, and so we decided to cut it down. This did not go as planned. There was a good bit of sawdust that got in it. I don't think it's that big a deal. It just doesn't make me very happy. All this is going to be covered with a, a metal sill anyway, and then I'm probably going to tape most of the way down this. So it's not that big a deal. It's just a pain. I also went that far up the sides because there's potential that snow 
wood pile up against this door and as it melts I just don't want it getting that wood wet so like I said all, all this will be taped but I wanted just some double protection for that <laughs> Well, folks, it is the first week of December, and I am in short sleeves, because it's 60 degrees out. This is nuts. All right, so we have two septic tanks installed in the ground over there. I have just run 200 feet of hose. This hose is dedicated for pumping septic. We've been using this for a long time for specifically that purpose. It does not get used for anything else. <laughs> The problem I'm encountering right now is I had this old tube, which worked fine on our old tank because it's really short, right there in the middle, it sits flat on the ground. These tanks, however, are really tall, and the new hose that I bought, even though it has the same exact internal diameter as the other hose that I bought, it does not fit over this slip pinning right here. So, my thought is to wrap some tape, that's the suction end of the, the fitting, so I'm hoping if I just wrap some tape around it, put that hose over it and clamp it down, that that will allow me to do what I need to get done. We'll find out momentarily. And the liquid flash for the front door is still not completely set and it's been this is the, like yesterday was the first full day and today would be the second day um, and there's still a good bit of sawdust stuff in it I tried vacuuming it that didn't seem to do a whole lot but there's not a lot I can do about it right now As this fills up, this entire container will fill up with solids as well as the black water. And then the black water, the rest of the black water, is going to get pushed into this when this first tank is full. These are set up through gravity so that when the first tank fills up, it starts pushing water into the second tank. There should not be any solids that enter the second tank. It should pretty much just be black water. <clears throat> and then when that tank fills up, it will start pushing black water down into the septic field, which has not been created yet. I'm going to put about 150 gallons of black water in each one from the RV, um, and that way we can weigh these tanks down as well as empty out the RV for the next freeze. So that, that should work out pretty well. Um, I did approve this with the septic installer. He said this was fine. He didn't need to get back in the tanks. So... Not much to it, just a couple of center supports. Okay, that should in theory work. Now, I should just need the old car battery. A little bit of tape to get that pump working. pumping waste and now it's just time to verify it's going in the right spot which is always something to check well I can hear it flowing into that tank um, which is the one I really need to fill up right now because it's not completely buried that other one's fairly well buried All the boards got stained last night. I am going to tape 
the top portion of this door. Just being able to do it the actual top because I'm gonna have to add something. I think I can just slip a two by six in there and that'll probably be enough. So I might just go ahead and do that now. So I'm just testing out what it's like liquid flashing these walls. This is the last day above 35 for a while. And I'd rather get this done today. Well, that should honestly go pretty fast, so that's that's all good news. So this is aluminum on the metal side. Completely safe to cut with a steel blade. If this was steel, it'd be a little different. Steel. Well, we got a new ladder for Casey to break. Give her a year or so on this one. Okay, I've got the fire going. Casey's gonna be out here in a minute to uh, just come work out here and kind of keep an eye on me. I'm gonna be on this wall doing the liquid flash. And if something happens, I'd rather there be someone out here. So that's a cross section of what this looks like. This goes to the exterior, this stays on the interior. It's just three boards. This one's grooved out a little bit for this metal piece. And this piece is adjustable depending on the height that you want. It'll go up and down about an eighth of an inch. physical therapy approved.
also on the installation instructions it said use a uh, socket as basically a punch to push these in and it's working pretty well. I just need to take off a little bit off this edge right here. It's like just a fraction of an inch to make that door fit a little bit more snug. I do have some concerns about it expanding in the summer, but I will deal with that in the summer. Right now, I'm just going to get this door installed. I also don't have the right hinges. Um, I have some hinges that are three and a half. This needs a four inch hinge. So I may not, I may wait until tomorrow to hang it, but I'd at least like to get it home tonight if I could and swap out the hinges later. We'll see how that goes. about 20 sandpaper pads and a nice jigsaw blade it is done I don't like the way this edge looks because it's not completely straight um, hopefully I can clean that up on like a table saw next year but it's gonna work I think it'll swing in an hour right like a glove who needs hinges? We could just use it like this. Casey'd really like that. Alright, speaking of hinges, it's time for the... We have a new tool to assemble. So this here is the door stud. Um, it is a way of holding a door up on top of wheels. I'm not sure this is going to work, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. This, uh, this tool will cost more than the door, but I have a lot of doors to put up. I have three in just this building, but I can only imagine how many going to be in the next one. Um, I'm definitely getting a frame next time this works on slab doors or pre-hung doors. And these should be pretty handy. This is a way to hang a door without any shims. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to get this assembled